How you doing, everyone? Welcome to the... What are you going to call this? It's going to be a press conference. It's more like an interview. Welcome to the mystical interview. I am the Warlock, chillaxing on my couch. Well, I will be doing... Well, I won't be doing it, but I will have Venomax from the Team View Boxing event interviewing me. Hi. Well, whenever you're ready to ask the questions. All right. So make sure you don't ask the questions that are written down for you. I labeled it. Okay. All right. Um, okay, dang. What are you doing physically and mentally to prepare, to prepare for this event? Mentally, I'm trying to... Not trying to doubt myself. Mentally, I'm keeping in the game. No matter what people tell me, I try to keep myself mentally strong and to keep amping myself up like I can do this, I can do this. Physically, I got training. I do a little bit of training. Mostly it's just push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups with plenty of juice. And you did, a, you did some uh, punch, punch. Oh yeah, that too. I and mean, I worked with a punching bag. Well, mm -hmm. That's part of the training. Oh, okay. So, my question to you, Brandon, um, why, why not Jay as, as your opponent? Why not Jay? Why not? Um, well, it's, I don't know how to explain it because I'm not good at it, but it's, it's, it's basically a mental thing for me. Like, I pick... The, I know Najee is way more experienced, and there's a possibility, a 99.9% .9 chance I'll lose. But I feel like I want to take this challenge. And if I do win, I mean, it'll help me out in my long journey. Basically, why I want to challenge Najee is to help me out, and to help me with this struggle I'm going through. Good mind. Don't throw that away. My, my, my cousin made that for me. Fine, just put it right there under the little border. Um, like it's hard to explain, but there's like this mental challenge I have in my head where, like, I feel like I'm not good enough at at like everything, and I feel like by doing this, I can like prove to myself and other people that doubt me that I can I can do something that I can do something good for once in my life. It's like a mental thing. Um, who's your trainer? Uh, well, probably, but, you know, because the quote Supernatural, he's a deadbeat dad, but, yeah, there's God, um, so I got a snowball's chance in hell, but I also have people like you, uh, Venom X, and then I got my buddy Patrick, or I just self, I self-teach myself. Um, what would be your, what would be your strength heading into the match? Uh, well, to agree with Najee in the... Previous interview, link to that will be in the description below. Uh, well, one, my HUD head, but I mean, I don't know how that's going to help because you can't headbutt people. Well, my HUD head, my, uh, I know strong, there's no word for strong will. I can't remember what, it, what it's called. But basically, my strong will, I think your, my, your in, will, like your willpower? Yeah, basically my willpower. Um, I mean, another thing I might have as a small key factor would be durability and endurance. Because when he first mentioned, let's do nine rounds, and I said, well, what's the highest we can go to? Twelve. And I said, let's do that. His face is like, oof. I don't know if that was for me or him or both, because twelve rounds is a long round. I mean, I got a little bit of durability and endurance. Um, what are your weaknesses that you need to overcome? Everything I didn't say for my strength, that's my weakness. Okay. I mean, I, I am good with strength, but whatever I didn't mention for my for my strength, those are my weaknesses. Okay. Um, with you, with uh, Nachi being your opponent, uh, what what would you list as his strength? Strength, speed. Probably the, he's got the same endurance I do, and durability as well, because it is going to take a long time to get him down. Ba basically, he's everything that I have, plus more. Like, I don't know about the strong will, I mean, because he's got some strong will too, but 
basically just, you know, the, the everything that is my weakness is his strength. You know, he's strong, fast, and whatnot. Okay. Um, what would you list as Nanji's weaknesses? Well, I've never seen him do this a lot. I've seen other people do it. Possibly overconfidence if he's if he's overconfident in this battle because of me being his opponent. But I haven't seen that. I mean, his weakness, I would say... I mean, I've still times I saw three of his training videos while I was watching him train, and he's probably working on this now. Well, and I didn't notice it. I had a buddy who watched my videos notice it, but I guess there are times he'll slip up on his guard. Not like a big slip up, because I didn't notice it, but there's like a small slip up. But usually it's the small slip ups that you can get in for the win. But Najee would be hard. I mean, I'd say, I mean, his head's not as hard as mine. Apparently my will is stronger. Well, I think we're both on equal terms of strong will, but I, I'm thinking the head. I'm the only one with the hard head in the group. All right. Uh, given, yeah. the, given the drama between Venom X and Bat. Well, yourself and Robert. Given the drama, why put uh, Venom, why put Venom X and Bat Mike? Well, this one, I've explained in a previous interview. A link to that will be in the description below because I'll upload that to my sister's channel. Um, now, some people have told me this isn't a good idea, especially with the beefs going on. Something could happen. What I'm thinking is, now this could be, I mean, it could be, it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Why I want to do this match is because let the two friends, former friends, or just friends still, you know, fight out, uh, have their issues in a controlled environment, like, work out their issues in a controlled environment. Yes, some, yes, I know, uh, talking is better than, or, what's the word, what's the expression? Um, talking's better than violence or something like that, I don't know. I, I agree with you on that, and they have talked their way out, but there was still a, a little bit of drama there. And I'm thinking this match could be good for them because they could be in a controlled environment. There will be safety gear. We have security. It's not like anyone's going to jump in. It's just these two boxing, getting their issues out in a controlled environment. No one's going to go over the edge because we make sure that wouldn't happen. We would keep this a controlled environment. I mean, better to have it in the ring instead of, you know, Venom X going over to his house or finding out where he is and just beating the shit out of him on the streets. Um, what question? I know we've prob we've asked this in the previous press conference we tried to do. Alright. Um, again, link for that will be in the description below because I will upload that to TNH, TNE Productions channel. Um, how would this match between you and Najee, how will it how will it affect your friendship between the two? Honestly, it's not gonna change anything. Whether I win or he wins, we're still gonna be friends. I mean, Najee did think if I win, I'm gonna be overconfident. There will be times, maybe I will, but only for a joke. I mean, if I do win, I'm gonna be happy as a motherfucker, like going to the titty bar with a hundred fucking singles happy. But in the end, if we win or lose, if I win or if he wins, I'm thinking it's going to stay the same. Right. I mean, it'll be a huge confidence boost for me, but that's about it. In, <clears throat> in, recent, in the recent interview with, with Najee, Shay and Zion. Shy. But Shay, 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 the drama between Venom X and Bat and Mike. Alright. What are your thoughts on the situation? My thoughts on it, and I know this is a, th I know the drama's old, let's just drop it and deal with it. I mean, I've already said my piece, and I'm just saying this, and then, you know. But basically, me, when he was first, when he first told me what happened, I legit, my respect for him went down. Because I know, I don't deal with cheaters, I don't like cheaters, I have been cheating on before. It fucking sucks. My respect for Rob went really low down, and I was hoping we can have this match. That way they can settle their beef in the ring in a controlled environment, 
instead of him snapping. Because there could be a day when Venom X does snap, and if he if he does snap, then if you know if he settle his beef outside, was not in in a controlled environment. That's why you. That's why me and Najee wanted this because it's in the ring. It's a controlled environment. Nobody's gonna die. Or get severely hurt. After agreeing for a two month waiting period, do you think Rob will want back in the ring? Or want back in the ring for this two months or a month? I think I don't think so. Um, I mean, 1% of me say there's a possibility, but 99% no. After Bad Mike's fourth, the Najee's and um, Najee's still in the ring. Well, now that I don't have Sammy interviewing me, I, I, I'm not sure. But then again, my theory between the whole multiverse theory, because I grew up with Naji and Sammy, and they were both Batmans to me. Do you think Naji deserves a title or at least a challenge against Robert for the Pat Mantle? Yeah. Against Robert. Yeah. Batman. Like, well, there needs to be a match between Naji and Robert for one on one entitlement. Who's really bad? Okay. Um, Alright. back. Um. Um. I just think that this match would have been good for Venomax and Bat and Bat Mike. Well, like I said in the previous question, because I'm pretty sure I answered this before. Um. My my it's uh, I have the same as I have is the same answer as my as the last as the last question. It would have been from a certain point of view, yes, it would have been good because you you guys would have, you would have dealt with your problems in a controlled environment. From a certain point of view, yes, I think it would have been good. Uh, do you think that this match would have been what uh, would have been? What the two of them needed to for uh, closure and to bear, and like closure or to bury the yeah or to truly bury the hatchet. Um, again, same thing as the last question. From, from a certain point of view, I mean, because some people disagree, I I say yes. I I believe the, 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 there would have been some closure at least. Closer to closer. Um, in a recent in the uh, recent podcast with Robert, um, he said he would rather fight. He said he would rather fight you instead of Venom X. Um, he said, and he said this because you can restrain yourself. If this was allowed, would you? Be able to restrain and hold yourself back. I would restrain myself. Well, restrain as in I wouldn't snap on them because it wasn't. I, I'm not totally involved. So yes, I can restrain myself. Um, but as in fighting to win, I would want to win. I want to snap on the guy because again, this isn't between me and him. I, I just fight to win. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold back. I'd restrain, um, but I wouldn't hold back, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, next question. Without this, uh, without this match, would, um, would Venom X and Bat Mike's beef be settled, or would it still cause, like, would it still cause trouble? To pull a long dead bounty hunter, possible, possibly, like, there, there could still be some closure. It's probably, I mean, it's going to take a while or at the same time. I don't know. That depends on the two parties. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> depends the, on the three parties. Okay. All right. And the actual final question. All mm-hmm. right. All right. Um, so when this event, so when this event ends, what is next? What is What's next for you after this event? Will you compete again at this? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is definitely heal, because I'm going to need some time to heal. Um, anywho. So a lot of recovery. 
So I'm, I'm gonna hate. I'm gonna know. It's yeah, a lot of recovery. Vacation time. Definitely vacation time. I'm putting in. Um, but after that, if they ask me to compete, or if someone calls me out, yes, I, I would love to compete again. I, I, I'm having fun. I would have. I, even if I win or lose, I'm gonna have fun. All right. Well, um, thank you for joining us for this um, press conference. Hey, 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 no problem, man. And um, it's gonna be more like a press interview. Gonna, all right, and uh, we're going to be doing the next um, press conference. So we'll take a short break, and then the next interview will be, and then we'll have the next interview up and uploaded for you guys. Welcome back, guys, to the Mystical Symbiote interview. It is now my turn, the Warlock Supreme, shall interview Venom X. How are you doing? Good. Pleasure to have you. I'm a good interviewer. I shake hands. Good to be here. Alright. Now, same question. Well, our first question. Um, what are you doing to physically and mentally prepare for this event? Uh, now, if you can look at me or look at the camera, I don't mind. I was having trouble trying to, like, what the fuck do I look at? So I just looked at the TV. Alright. Um, mentally, uh, just basically getting my basically getting to like the good mindset of all this and whatnot. Like, you know, I'm like on the inside I'm really, really hyped to be a part of this boxing event. Um physically, uh, been doing a lot of been doing a lot of uh exercise been doing a lot of exercising. Uh, I've been doing a lot of weightlifting, um, pull-ups. Not gonna lie though, I was expecting you, because you're more of the DBZ or Bridge fan, I thought you were gonna actually use Vegeta's voice yeah. and be able to help. Um, continue the long side. A lot of exercise, I've been lifting weights, um, I'm doing a lot of pull-ups, and I've been, uh, Doing a lot of bit of uh, of a uh, boxing training with the uh, punch guy. All right. Now it's one to two part. Here. The first part for this question: Do you think Robert will accept your fight after his two month waiting period? Um, that's a good question. Uh, me personally, I want him. I want him to say yes. But you want him to say yes. But I what want do you him think to, he's going to do. I want him to say yes, but uh, I want him to say yes and agree with this match against me. But um. Uh, I feel like there's a part of him in his conscious that's telling him, no, don't do it. And by his consciousness, we all know what that means. Yeah. All right. Now, the second part of this question, when he says no, or if he says no, for those people who are optimistic like me, how are you preparing for your match with Zion? Um... Like I said before, I've been um, like I said, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of exercising, training, weightlifting, um, all that type of stuff to, not just only, to not just only to, not just only to physically have my. Just to physically be in that correct shape, but um, also to have a um, a clear a clear focus mind on 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 what I'm doing during this boxing event. All right, all right. Like yeah. have a clear focus. Yeah, mind. clear mind, focus. 
Now, the next question leads into this. I didn't write it down because I'm just going to play by you now. So, now, after the two month, says no, your opponent Zion. Now, what are your thoughts when you, when you, like, what are your thoughts on Zion when you first found out that he called you out, even though he's 13, he's like 13, 14, I can't remember his age, he's like, basically, he's way younger than you, even though you're 30. What are your thoughts? Thoughts and feelings for Zion for this. Right, um, I actually... I actually give um, Zion a lot of respect for um, for what he's worth. Um, Zion's unique, but also um, I also give him a lot of respect to um, even even deciding that he wants to challenge me. Um, and I have a feeling he has that you have more respect for Zion than you do Robert. I have more respect for Zion. Alright. That's nice. Now, do you have faith that Z that you and Zion are gonna have a good match? Because we all know that Nazi's trained enough. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I do. I do. Me personally I think oh. Me personally, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna come in as we're just gonna come in as opponents, but then you know it's like you gotta shake after, hands in the end. But then it's like after after that, it's like yeah. who went like whoever wins wins. I'm gonna be like I'm not gonna be disrespectful and just like either like punch him or spit in his face. Yeah, I get you. No, right. I'm very I am very sportsmanship, and that's a good thing. You don't see that nowadays sometimes. Right. Next question. Now, I don't mean to stir this pot more, no. but, you know, as I know, I don't take the shit, I don't start the shit, I just disturb, I just disturb the shit. So, do you think Colleen had something to do with Robert backing out of the fight? I want to say yes. Yes. She's very afraid of what I. What she gonna do to him after of what, what they did? I, of what I may or may not do to him. More specifically, that she is, um, she is very worried about his um safety. About his safety and his own. Now I don't mean to trust. Now on safety for you, uh, wow. Um, on record, record for you people watching the interview. Now this is all what Colleen thinks. Bobby, on the other hand. We've already established with me and Najee himself that there will be no violent action. It's just a one-on-one -on -one fight, rules, regulation. So we've already got out the way that nothing violent is going to happen. Anywho, so uh, continue your thoughts or should I move on to the next question? Alright, next one. Alright. Um, I couldn't think of another one off the bat, so we're going to the trusty dusty notebook. Alright, oh yeah, that's, that was the next one. Alright, so for you, in particular, we'll start with the first part. What is the strength that you will bring into this fight? What are your main strengths? Uh, um, Besides height. <laughs> yeah, that's... Um, my strengths, well, I do not, um, I've got, I do got that long, I do have that long reach. So range. You, you can so beat him yeah, in the my, range. Yeah. So my range would be pretty good against him. Um, I would say I'm very, very self confident in myself. Alright, that's good. Not, um, not because I, I was thinking. Very, it's... I'm very, very self, very self confident and very mm. self determined. Alright. Um, now, the second part of this question, what are the weaknesses you know you will bring into this fight and you have to try and overcome? Besides the fact that he's younger and we could probably get some nasty comments once this match is uploaded. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to do a whole Pinocchio just 
see. I am very like very that self determined and yeah. confident. Um disciplined right. as well. Well in the previous interview, Zion mentioned one of the weaknesses for him and you, I, I don't know if it was both or just one side, um, there might be some hesitation because you're older than him and he's young way younger than you. Uh, will there be some kind of like say you're going for a really strong punch, but you might hesitate like mm, I don't want him out out you think hesitation could like just spontaneously just pop in your head uh, not, not, really. Right. not really now for the record on record though we i'm just gonna say we we don't condole child abuse there's no child abuse no child neglect he willingly willingly came to us he's well trained both of them are they're both well trained for this match so there will be no child abuse no child neglect Please do not sue me once this Team Do event does publish. Or Najee. Don't sue either of us. We're too innocent. Anywho, next question. So, this would be leading on from the previous one. What would be the strengths that your opponent Zion brings into this? Uh, I would say with the, on the fact that he was being trained, being trained by Najee. Um... I'd say more of his um, skill and technique. Yeah. Agreed. And then what weaknesses will he bring into the match and has to overcome? Uh, Besides height, because, you know, we, we, we've already established height is both strength and weakness in this favor. Maybe, maybe the hesitation. I was making sure that was still recording. Probably. See, because what I'm thinking is either you, him, or both. There's going to be like a slight hesitation. Like you won't notice it, but other people will notice it. Right. All right, so what is up? Now I know he hasn't applied to your challenge, and that's why we have you up against Zion. But I'm going to do this one anyways in case he does man up and get the balls to, you know, accept your challenge. Now, what would you say Robert's strengths would be if he was to go into this challenge? Probably the same thing as I am. It's uh, skill and technique. Alright. All right. And then the weaknesses? Um, hesitation, probably. A lot of hesitation. Alright. Yeah, because there's some friendship still there. Like, he wants to rekindle it. Alright. Alright. I, 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 can, I can get that. I dig it. You dig it. Alright. Well, let's see. What do we got here? Um, that's me. That. Already did that. I do apologize for this long wait, guys. Um, I mean, if you want to, for the record, you can give your thoughts or your point of view on what happened. Um, just for the record, let the people know. Basically, this beat started when Robert or Batmite went behind Bobby's back and got with this girl. Now, if you want to, you can give your point of view, you know, how you feel and whatnot. And then at the end, let us know, you know, that, well, just your point of view, if you'd like. If not, we can skip to the the, the final question. I think it's pretty much very, very fucked up of what, um, of what the two of them did behind my back. The only, the only thing that I was... The only thing that I was told of so far of what happened Saturday at Rock Comedy, um, she ended up confessing. Well, they were still dating. While they were, while these two were still dating. While I was, while I was still, yeah. dating, while I was still dating a clean. For those of you that don't know, that's Colleen, but you know, we 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 have a nickname for him, helping this coping process. Continue. Sorry. Now, I have two questions, two of these, or just 
in my head and write them down. The first one. Now, and like you asked me in the podcast, how Bobby, oh, not Bobby. Wow, now I'm being my dad. Robert wants to challenge me instead of you because I can restrain myself. Now, in that match, do you think that I would be a better a better choice to fight Robert? And do you think I can also, do you think I'd be able to restrain myself? Um, first one, um, what does that mean, like, would that be something different or something? Yes. Um, honestly, in my opinion, no, not really. Okay. Because in a way, that's, in a way, that's pretty much saying that he does not, that's pretty much saying that he's not giving me the res- he's pretty much not giving me the respect. Like he'd rather challenge another friend and not own up. And he's and pretty much not. Out. I'm going to say something like that. It's pretty much like he is not giving me. He's not giving me the respect and or the challenge that I want from him. I get you. Right. Okay, yes. Um, second. Um, if it was between him and the, if it was actually between him and the Warlock, um, I would say that Warlock would be able to, um, control, to control himself and restrain himself a little bit better, um. Now, we have one more question before we get to the final question. Okay. Now, in the main event between Naji and the Warlock, a lot of people, a lot, when I mean a lot, I mean basically everybody, yeah, ba- basically everybody, are uh, doubting the Warlock, and they're thinking Naji's got this easy win. Where do you stand in the main event? Do you think the Warlock will have a chance against Naji, or do you think easy win? a good question. No, don't go easy. I even though I'm the even though I'm the uh, interviewer, do what you gotta do. Um that's a good question. Um because I see a lot of good in them between their um between their friendship and their relationship as um as uh, brothers. Um I respect I respect both of them a lot. The question is though, but, um, does the warlock have a like? Do you think the warlock will have a chance, well, I think or that, like everyone else says, this is just an easy victory for Nachi? Uh, now I'm not asking does the warlock win, just you know, is is there a chance? I mean, in my in my mindset, um, like I know that warlock, I know that um, warlock's got the. Uh, the determination and the willpower against his opponent, but um, truthfully, I truthfully it's um, what's the word? It's like with him. Oh, I guess not. With him going against Naji, I don't know. I don't know who's going to win. Naji winning. Naji is the victor. I mean, I'd at least put up a good fight, though. I, I, I have to admit that. I, I mean, it would probably make a hell of a pay for that match. All right. Ooh, I can be another part to that question now, because me, myself, and my co-owner Naji were debating when we do do have this event. Because I, I want to get another point of view from you, uh, from another person. Now, we're debating whether we should charge admission. I mean, nothing too expensive. But in case we have to rent out a place or buy material to make the ring. Like, do you think there should be admission to this boxing event? Um. Not to mention also, uh, Naji did offer to rent out uh, safety equipment. Yeah. Um, do I think there should be an admission? Um. 
get on Facebook. I think it's just like, right. nothing. Nothing too expensive. Nothing too yeah. expensive or too cheap. Yeah, I get you. Alright. And then our final question. Uh, it's a two-parter. We'll do with the first part first. Mm-hmm. Now, after the boxing event, mm-hmm. we'll say you win the match. What would you do after it? Like, would you go back to the next event, or would you just move on, take your win, shake hands, do your own thing? Um, like, would you come back if somebody called you out, or if you wanted to? I'd probably go on for about a lot. Probably. I would probably go on for about a long hiatus of recovery and right. um probably I'd be longer though. Of but... reco- of recovery and um going back into um going back into uh, training and exercising again. Alright. Um if I get called out or I call out someone then which for you, we already know the first then, person that's then, gonna call um, you out. Then yeah, I would. Uh, um, right. I would. I would come back. Alright. Sometime. I would come back sometime soon. Again. Alright. Second question. I can't even flip it was. Oh. Um. And I'm. I forgot to have you uh, ask me this, but, um, for you, uh, if you were to take the victory, would you have any ideas on who you would call out? Like just a list. A list of people. Just one. A few. A handful. Like any idea of people you would want to call out if you took the victory? Uh, if I, well, if after this event, and I'm gonna say that, and I'm gonna say that if he does say. No, after the two months, and then after my win and a victory, yeah, I will probably, I might probably try to call him out again. All right. Yeah. Now, is there anybody else you had in mind, or is it just Strava? Um, besides him, if um, I have another person that I want to call out who won the match. Um. Like I said, it would either be, um, it would either be that night and and or um, the world. Alright. Okay. Now I know I said this is the final question, but I do have to say this. I'm sorry. Now, because I know you didn't say Najee's name. Now, if Najee called you out for your title that you had in the previous interview, again, like will be in the descriptions for that one. Would you put up that title for? That match, if Naji calls you out for it, um, yes, but it would have to be in the matter of if he can prove himself worthy of taking me on for my right. role. So, like, he would have a number one contendership, and if he wins that one, then he gets a title shot. So pre- just, pretty much, all right. Yeah. So he has a, a pre-show, a pre-match. And then he has another match for the time. All right, I get you. Yes. I get you, I get you. Well, that has been it. I mean, thank you again for uh, letting me interview you. Thank you for interviewing me. I hope you all enjoyed. And tune in next time for the next boxing event news. Till then, guys. I'm the Warlock. And I'm Better Max. And we'll sign it out. Peace. All right, guys. I got to try and sneak an interview with Taylor for her match against Shy. I think I see your door. Shh. I'll just wait here. Uh, oh, I almost fell. Maybe if she opens the door, she will come out. Oh, all right. I'll just wait right here. Let me turn off my light. Excuse me, excuse me. Tail, tail. Moment of your time, please. Moment of your time. Do you have any questions for your match against Shy? No comment. Uh, what do you mean, no comment? Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. No God, excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Y'all, I tried. I mean, I tried. She she wouldn't answer me. I don't know what to do, man. She's camera shy. What can I say? I hope y'all like this interview. You know, put a link in the uh, uh, put a comment down below if you liked it. If you want more interviews, and as always, guys, I'm the Warlock.
I'm signing out. Tune in next time.